Hey, and welcome to Highbrow Lowbrow. I'm your host, Sean. With me here is Ron Sensei. Each week, we get together to discuss a well-regarded, highly acclaimed film with a cheesy blockbuster. Basically, an arty-farty film versus a mindless good time. So this week, uh, each week, we choose the category or the type of films we watch. And this week, it was your chance to choose. So Ron, what did you end up choosing? So last week, we were very introspective and talking about cities and... (laughs) all that, uh, you know, uh, cultural stuff. This time I said, you know what, let's do something very different, very enjoyable, alien invasion. Yeah, it was a very interesting choice. Um, I think there could be a lot of interesting films that could be mined out of alien invasion. Um, But but yeah, I, I, I definitely had a fun time trying to figure out what exactly a highbrow alien invasion film would be. Anyway, it's Sean's pick first, and what did you end up picking? First up, I picked Before We Vanish. Before They Vanish? Shit, sorry. (laughs) Hold on one second, let me get my phone, because I I still need my phone. Before We Vanish is a Kiyoshi Kurosawa film about three aliens who travel to Earth in preparation for a mass invasion, taking possession of human bodies. So, Ron, what did you think of this um, eyebrow pick? Yeah, sure. It's it's an amazing film. It's like body snatchers with a different twist. Yeah. They um, <clears throat> so the aliens take on human form, and they take the person's form. However, they're kind of empty, but not really. They're, they're that person, but they're not. And so they have to fill up what they're lacking by taking concepts from other people. Now, what the fuck is that, right? <laughs> so for instance, you have, they don't know what the concept of ownership is. Like, oh, this is your house. You can't go here, it's my house. This is your house. What what is what is a uh, it's mine. I own this house, but what is ownership? Well, ownership is like this and that. Okay, well then I'm gonna take that from you. Boom, and so now that person has that has no more concept no more of, yeah. of ownership. Yeah. The same with work. What is work? And then if you take that, if the alien takes that from that person then they don't have a concept of work. You know, in, in Body Snatchers or in the different iterations of it, you see the people acting weird. Well, you see it here, but in a very different way. Like, they don't, they, they act like weird, and but they, they're lacking concepts of things, whatever the aliens are taking from them. So in that way, it's so... It, it's so good. It's something so brand unique. new. Yeah. I've never seen anything like that. And from the start, there was a schoolgirl, and she comes in with her goldfish. Something happens. You go in the room, decapitations, blood, and you see her looking at her hand. No exposition, no nothing. It's just acting. And then cut to a scene where she's just walking, full of blood, and all the cars are just like passing her by. Yeah, it was such a unique, strange little film. Like, it is very a very, very thoughtful and interesting movie, um, but it's told in such a, a eye-catching and sort of unique and... Um, um, very original. Yeah, it's but, funny, But not too. really. Yeah, it is funny. It's, it's pretty funny, um, which I really enjoyed about it. Um, I, I had such a, such a good time with this one. And, and, you know, like, it's funny as in ha-ha funny, but then also fa- funny, hmm, honey funny you know like like holy shit funny yeah yeah and I, I thought that was so so good about it um and the way the aliens just generally are is so is, is such a fun take on a villain because they almost don't feel like a villain and they don't exhibit a lot of like some of them do right some of them exhibit the classic traits of a villain like wanting to do harm and not caring about other people but they but they really don't care you know like Villains movies typically care because it serves their interest, but these villains almost don't care about anything. They're just sort of going through the motions on a certain level. There are three aliens. One Mm. of them is kind of like the good guy because he genuinely seems very innocent and kind of like a a tabula rasa where he's just learning a bunch of things. Meanwhile, you got like two kids 
yeah. uh, the boy who's like, he knows what's going on. He knows your motives. He's a little bit kind of mischievous that way. And then you got the girl. The girl who's like super innocent, but she is physically violent. Yeah. <laughs> she just kills people. She's doing some fucking MMA shit. I mean, she knows how to defend herself. Yeah, she was just like like killing she's, people. Like, she's like a, a kid human almost. Uh, the 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 boy is sort of like uh, an adult human, and um, the sort of good guy is like uh, just a f purely fresh human, sort of touching the like because she's evil in a way that a kid's evil. Like they won't care, but in, you know they'll just like mess you up randomly or just like go sort of balls to the walls, like ballistic on you. They're so fatalistic in this film. Like um, the 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 girl character. Um, she eventually like sort of dies and then um, the boy character uh, oh yeah, 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 she, yeah. The boy character offers another body like why don't you swap bodies right now she's like eh I'm good <laughs> I can die now <laughs> I thought that was like so fun so towards the end I guess they had to stop by because they ran away it's the it's mm. the the wife and the the husband who's an alien yeah. and they ran Shin away Chan. and then yeah Shin Chan and the aliens are coming down. They're going to invade. Everything's done. The whole world's going to die. And they ended up... It was not explicit, but it looked like a love hotel. And she was like, just take my love. Mm, yeah, take yeah. my concept of yeah. love. And maybe the aliens are not going to come here. Because that's the only concept that you don't have. So when he takes it, because anything that they take, it's transmitted to the, I don't know, the mothership. Yeah. And then maybe they'll, they'll change their mind. And sure enough, when he took the love from her, the, the invasion stopped. And then the human race kind of like just kind of goes on. Yeah. My thing is... She really just wanted some sex. <laughs> sure, sure. I had a really good time with this film. I thought it was very strange and unique and just fun. Um, it, it, it was, yeah, just, I love how, how it succeeds as being really strange. And, and it just wears it on its sleeve and it's funny. And, and you're able to keep pace with it. You're able to, like, stick with the film. It doesn't get... It gets crazy, but it also you're able to stay with the crazy, and that was what's is what makes it so great. Um, so, Ron, what did you end up picking for your lowbrow choice? So I went with this British film. I think it's 2011 or something. It's called Attack the Block. It's, sorry, uh, it's Attack the Block. Attack the Block. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did they say blob? Yeah. <laughs> Attack the Block. The block. Attack the Block centers on a teenage street gang who have to defend themselves from predatory alien invaders on a council estate in South London on Guy Fox night. Okay, Sean, what do you think? Um, so I've seen Attack the Block um, before, and uh, yeah, I thought it was a very um fun uh unique look at a uh, sort of a kid fighting off the alien threat so so this group of um young toughs or ruffians or whatever you want to call them um they're confronted with this menace and they're sort of portrayed as a very dangerous threat in and of themselves and and as they try to like rob or mug people or cause their own trouble but then they sort of unite together to fight this alien menace um and I thought it was good because I had a lot of fun with it just because, you know, you don't see that aspect of those characters. You don't see them existing, fighting off these aliens. And it, it stays true to them. It stays true to who these characters are, you know, even though they're, even though they're, they're sort of negative or bad people or whatever. I think they really sort of come to their own and, and you really sort of learn to identify with them. I did see a lot of problems with it. Number one, the alien threat is not really a threat. When you start a movie and the alien comes down and you literally, from the first scene, you just kill it. Yeah. So th there was no fear of the alien. 
Not to mention that there's a lot of them. There's a lot of the aliens. Yeah. So you don't fear the creature because you can just kill one and then, okay, well, you can, it's just the volume part. Now, if you look at it with movies like Aliens, where, okay, well, they have multiple aliens, but the first time they encountered the aliens, their whole squad was nearly annihilated. Yeah. Everybody almost died, and they just didn't have any defense or whatever. So the next time you encounter a horde, your fear was there, just like the, the protagonists in the film. Props to the acting. Yeah. The kids were great. You can see Boyega here. Boyega comes into his own on this one. Yep. Boyega is amazing. And uh, it just shows you the shit show of the new Star Wars films, what they did to him. John Boyega becomes or is Finn in the new Star Wars yeah. films. So, oh my goodness. Wasted potential. I mean, if you guys seen Detroit, Boyega there is amazing as well. Uh, th this is what's... He was so young here. Yeah. Um, but he still kills it. He still does he a kills really, it. He yeah, does he a really kills good job. It. So, but, it, you know, it's just a, the, the matter of the, the whole narrative of the, the aliens were not really uh, a threat. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, so there's the, the looming police force that's going to come up and try to take care of the aliens. But then um, the main character in this film manages to take care of them before the cops come in. Um, but then it, it's really like once you see that main force coming in, there is a certain sense of like, well, the the main bad guy, the bad, uh, the not the main bad guy, but the but the weed drug dealer guy with a gun. He takes out an alien pretty quick with his one gun. So if there's like a bunch of cops coming in with all their guns, they can take out that, the aliens. That's another thing, right? Like, yeah. so it, it, they keep they keep portraying the aliens as like nothing. Like they're they're really nothing. Like this guy yeah. just yeah. shoots the fuck out of this thing, and then that was it. Like, you know, if they were dealing drugs, they could have, like, used that later on. Sure, like, sure. I don't know. Well, well they're, they're only doing weed. I don't know what the other drugs was. Like, was yeah. it ecstasy or something? Um, but that could have been, that, had, that could have come to play. Like, the cops failed. Yeah. SWAT, whatever, military. Now they have to use what the block, the block has. And so now they have to use South London filth. To destroy the alien that that could have been i don't know that could have been something yeah made the alien junkies you know you want some crack you know <laughs> all the gorilla aliens I, I going think, high i think they're something. just trying to highlight the characters more so than um, right yeah, yeah. Than, than you know whatever little tricks they can come up of come up with but i i do like the little tricks they come up with you know when, when characters like innovate certain things or you know do callbacks to other things I think that's like a lot of fun in a, in a film like this. And and while this film is fun, I think it would be taken to the next level if it did sort of do those callbacks to like, oh, maybe, you know, the alien can only pass through a certain way like this and then I can do this thing to get the alien in a right, certain yeah, cool way. Yeah, yeah. Something, something about the alien that's unique, not just some glow light <laughs> yeah. mouth. Yeah, just so so with just fangs. dealing with this threat in a unique and and nutty way. Are these kids taking like responsibility or authority or yeah. or um, new measures? And and you see them like suiting up. You know, everyone loves the suiting up scenes. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, again, it's not a bad film. It's sure. it's very enjoyable. But I I feel like uh, I've seen it before. I would have liked to have seen something a little different. Um, you know, maybe maybe I'm getting old, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's let's move on to uh, what we thought of those films. All right, Sean, you first. Okay, so uh, yeah, I went with um, Before We Vanish. I had a lot of good time with that film. Um, it's very unique, very strange, very. Um, out of my wheelhouse and I think it, it reminds me of like any like really good sort of strange novel like a Dr. Strangelove, like a Haruki, uh, Haruki Murakami novel, like a Kurt Vonnegut novel. It has this attitude of like um, these things are going to progress forward but rather than focus on the gravity of these things we're going to 
focus on what they mean conceptually and, and, and how we approach this. And it's, it's so strange and fun that I just had a really good time with it. I thought it was so um, cool and, you know, thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have to agree. I have to give this to the, to the highbrow. I, you know, uh, Attack the Block is okay. It's an enjoyable film, but um, Before We Vanish is, uh, it, it's, it's a nice treat. I, I really like, and I'll watch it again. Um, the thing with it is that it leaves you with a sense of trauma because at the end, it was not, it was such a fun movie. You go through it, you have fun, but at the end, you are left with a trauma and you just have to live with that. It's so Japanese in a way that, so in, 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 in America, we're very about the individual about the self but then our movies and films are about the world saving the world yeah the japanese culturally are about the system about the country about others yeah. that's how they work however their mangas and films are about the internal yeah. person the struggle yeah. so this film is a reflection of that even though there's a world invasion that's happening it's centered around two people and about how they manage their love and how that compounds them and eventually the trapping within it. Again, Attack the Block is not a bad film, but I've seen it before. Yeah. The aliens were not really effective for me. Um, before We Vanish is an amazing film. I'll watch it again. Again, it's a fun film, but it leaves you with that lingering trauma that you're going to carry with, and there's no resolution but that. I love it. So those are our reviews of Before We Vanish and Attack the Block. Be sure to stick with us and tune in next time to find out who was right, Sean or Ron. See you guys. Mm -hmm.